Bienvenidos, who's Shamdi, and welcome to this INE course on one of the most popular applications of MPLS, and that would be Layer 3 VPNs. This is part of the Network Engineer's Guide to MPLS INE Learning Path. My name is Travis Bonfili, and I'm really excited about this INE course and looking forward to working with you to help you master MPLS to achieve your career and certification goals. So what are you going to learn during this course? Well, we're going to be taking a deep dive and exhaustive look at all of the aspects around MPLS Layer 3 VPNs. We're going to start by looking at virtual routing and forwarding, or VRFs. And then we're going to grow our network implementation by implementing Layer 3 VPNs using eBGP, OSPF V2, RIP V2, EIGRP. And with OSPF and EIGRP, we're going to be looking at additional features. With OSPF V2, we're going to be looking at the semantics around sham links and the down bit, as well as the different route types. And with EIGRP, we're going to be taking a look at the site of origin feature. We're also going to be using static routes. And then with BGP, we're going to be taking a look at AS override as well as BGP cost communities. Also, remember that for every device in any module where configuration work is done, you can access that configuration as either the .virl viral file, if you're a viral user, or you will have access to the plain text files so that you can pull up not only the starting configuration for an activity or a module, but the ending and final configuration. So let's talk about some of the prerequisites related to this course. Well, specifically, we need to have an understanding of IGPs, and that means OSPF, EIGRP, and RIP. You also need to have an understanding of BGP, the Border Gateway Protocol. And my favorite one is access to the iOS or iOS XE CLI. Now, this is going to be critical because it allows you to reinforce the concepts that you're learning about on the command line interface. There are also a number of objectives related to this course. First and foremost, we're going to learn about how to configure VRFs and the semantics around virtual routing and forwarding. We're going to be building on VRF light knowledge that we picked up in the first course of this learning path. We're going to be configuring provider edge to customer edge or PE to CE routing protocols. Again, we're going to be talking about the semantics, doing the full configuration work that would be required for eBGP, OSPF V2, EIGRP, RIP V2, and static routes. When it comes to achieving your certification and career goals and functioning in a real-world enterprise or service provider network, it's critical to understand that there's no substitution for deliberate hands-on practice activities like these activities we're doing in this course. Cisco certification exams are experience-based and extremely challenging to pass. So taking this course that's part of the INE learning path, the Network Engineer's Guide to MPLS, is a critical first step. So let's dive in and prepare you for that success. I'm really looking forward to helping you achieve your goals by taking the Network Engineering Engineer's Guide to MPLS Learning Path at INE and this course on MPLS Layer 3 VPNs. So now it's time for us to get in there and crush it. Here we go.